Here we are, another month, another TBR. Hello cuties, if you're new here, my name is Fish, and welcome to my April TBR. So April is going to be a relatively busy month for me. As always, I'm going to try my best to push in as many books as I can because this month I will be participating in two readathons. And the reason why I will be relatively busy is because I'm packing my entire apartment in April for my move in May. So that's going to take quite a bit of time from me, but it's all right. Like I said, I'm going to try my very best to read as much as I can. And this month's theme is sequels because I have such an urge to continue on with series and complete series this month. So that's going to be the theme of books you'll see in my TBR. So as I said, I'll be participating in two readathons. The first readathon that I'll be participating in is my favorite readathon of all time, and that is Magical Readathon, which is hosted by G from Book Roast. I'll link her announcement video and also her video explaining every single thing about this readathon. So you can just jump in whenever you'd like. So Magical Readathon is an RPG based readathon where you create a character and a whole background story for that character and you pick a career as well for that character and there are reading prompts for that career or subjects and you read books to complete those subjects. I will definitely be going through my career that I've chosen and also the prompts later on this video. And the second readathon that I'll be participating in is a Realmathon and this is created and hosted by Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy. I don't think I've participated in Realmathon before, but I'm very, very excited to do so this year. The reason why I'm going to love Realmathon is because there are a bunch of prompts that you can use that'll definitely fit into any book that you're going to read that month. I'll link Cassidy's announcement video down below explaining everything, but essentially Realmathon is a readathon where there are four different realms and you pick a realm that you want to pledge in and there are prompts to defend your realm but also attack your neighboring realm. And each of the four realms correlate with a different genre and of course I pledge to Enya which is the fantasy genre. Duh, because I will be reading a lot of fantasy sequels. Might as well get some points. You don't have to read the genre of your team but I thought hey might as well give more points to my realm. So because I can fit any book into all of these prompts, I haven't picked specific books for these prompts, so I'm just gonna wing it for this readathon, basically, because like I said, it'll fit into any prompt. I also have my own 48 hour Patreon readathon, but we'll get to that later. So let's get into my priorities for April. The first priority is actually a carryover and that is Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. This is my March Greenbone pick. This is a first book to a sci-fi opera series that I am really really enjoying. I am almost halfway through this. We follow two different perspectives, Jim Holden and Detective Miller, and they both have a mission of their own and they're all tied together in some way, while an all-out war is happening between Mars and the asteroid belt. It is a wild ride. And I did not think I would enjoy this because it's very plot heavy, but I feel like there is a balance between the fast-paced plot and also character moments, which I did not expect this, but I'm really, really enjoying this. Which brings me to the April pick for my Greenbone tier. And actually, this is the second time I'm filming this video because I wasn't happy with the first time I filmed this. So I've already picked April's book. And that is Beasts of Prey by Ayanna Gray. This was chosen by my lovely patron, Liz, who actually has a YouTube channel. And I'll link her down below. She is a sci-fi girly and she has amazing sci-fi recs. So definitely go check her out. So Beasts of Prey is the first book to a YA fantasy trilogy. And like Leviathan Wakes, it follows two characters that are connected in some way. So our first perspective is a caretaker of a night suit that houses very, very dangerous magical creatures. And one night, one of those dangerous magical creatures escape into the jungle. And both of our characters, tied in some way, have to go and find this escaped creature in this dangerous jungle. And I'm so, so excited for this. Anything to do with fantasy magical creatures, I'm there. Say no more. Next up, we have my Patreon book club called the Sluts and Guts Book Club. Our March and April pick is The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. I need to read this 
this month and I will be doing a spoiler vlog for my patrons. This is an adult male male contemporary romance that I'm so so excited to read. I've heard so many good things especially for my patrons who have already read and love this so much. It's from my main character who signs up to a dating reality show and he wants to find a soulmate in this reality show but instead he falls in love with the producer of the show. I'm so so excited. I cannot wait to see the drama because I'm actually watching Love is Blind and it's a dating reality TV show and yeah it's just giving me that vibes but gay. And there's going to be a slight change to our Sluts and Guts book club because by popular demand the Sluts and Guts book club is turning into a fantasy romance book club. I got my patrons to submit their choices of fantasy romance series and I picked randomly picked four and put it to a vote and the winner is the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa. We will be reading the four books one book each month and I'll be doing spoiler vlogs for each of the book. We're starting this in May so it's not on my TBR but I just wanted to let you know in case you want to join us. I'm very excited to read this. I recently read the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa and this is this is a siren fae romance series. I'm very very excited to jump into this and also thank you Stephanie from Stephanie's Book First for gifting me this binder. And my last priority for April is my Abby and Sam buddy read. This year we're tackling the Psy Changeling series by Nalini Singh and we've already read the first three and of course April being the fourth month we're on the fourth book and that is Mind to Possess. So each book follows a different romance pairing and in Mind to Possess we're following two changeling characters. I feel like male changelings are very intense with their emotions and, and their possessiveness. There's no red flags or anything at least for me. I'm all about that alpha ho thing. I am worried about this book being two changeling characters. It might be a little intense. But we shall see what happens. Either way, I'm very excited to see all the political changes between the Psy and the changelings that have been happening since book one. It's going to continue in book four and I'm excited to see what happens. All right, now let's get into the readathons. So for my Patreon 48 hour readathon, we do this bi-monthly. I actually pick out prompts from the Illumicrate like prompt cards that I got last year, I think. And the prompt for this readathon is to read a book recommended by everyone you know. And of course, the book that I picked that I'm going to be reading for the whole 48 hours is Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. I told you this month is sequels month. And what? <laughs> sequel have I been putting off and it has been recommended by everyone I know. This is the third and final book in the Greenbone Saga that I've been putting off for more than a year and a bit. If you don't know, the Greenbone Saga is an adult fantasy trilogy that is one of my favorite series of all time. Without even reading the third book, I know it's going to be my favorite. So this series follows the Call family and the Call family is part of the No Peak clan and in the city of Jan Loon, you have two clans, the No Peak clan and the Mountain clan who control Jade. And Jade is a gem that can enhance a person's abilities. And the only people that can wear this Jade is Green Bones. And most of the Green Bones are part of the two different clans. And it's all about the political maneuverings of Jade and also these two clans and eventually the world. It is very politically heavy and also character driven because you're again following the Call family and you watch their trials and tribulations. It is a ride and a half and I cannot wait to see what happens in here and be emotionally destroyed. <laughs> okay so now let's get into the magical readathon. So my character Leheba or Lele has chosen the healer path last year and I'm going to continue that this year because there is a rank for the careers if you choose to do the same one. So we've completed the novice, now we're getting into apprentice, I think. But anyway, this year, again, we're choosing healer and there are four prompts for the healer career. So the first prompt is alchemy and that is to read a book with a metal in the name. So like gold, iron, silver, whatever. So my choice for this prompt will be Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. This is the second book to the Red Rising saga, which I've already read. I just need to reread to continue on to the third book. I've read Red Rising twice to continue on to Golden Sun. Now I'm going to have to reread Golden Sun to get into Morningstar. So the Red Rising Saga is an adult sci-fi series that follows our main character Dara who is a red and this world is based on a color cast system where red's at the bottom and golds are the top essentially ruling the world. And Dara through a series of unfortunate events decides to infiltrate the goals and take them down from within. Very very 
dramatic and action-packed and I love the characters in this as well. This is such a good series. I really really want to continue on because book six is coming out in June I believe so I would like to get caught up so I would like to continue on with the series. The second prompt is elemental studies and that's to read a book with flowers on the cover and for this I've chosen Blood Solace by Vila Roth. This is the second book to the Blood Grace series and the first book is Blood Mercy which I read in March. Obviously there's a lot of flowers on the cover. So this fantasy romance series follows two characters, Cassia and Leo. And Leo is a Hesperin, which are basically vampire creatures in this world, but instead of thinking like dark, soulless characters, they are essentially very peaceful creatures that are not what everyone says they are. And Cassia is the bastard daughter of the human king in Tenebra. The king has invited Hesperins to come into Tenebra after thousands of years or hundreds of years to discuss treaty options during the spring equinox. So during this meeting, both Leo and Cassia get together, banter a little bit, and fall in love. I love this. I really liked Blood Mercy a lot and I want to see what happens next. So I'm definitely diving into the second book before my memory gets the better of me. The third prompt is inscription and that is to read a book from your highest shelf. And you can't see but the highest shelf has my middle grade nonfiction and graphic novel slash manga. And so again, in the spirit of continuing on series, I have The Adventure Zone Volume 4. This is a graphic novel series that's heavily inspired by D&D and you follow these cast of characters where they're going on a quest to find special objects that will save the world. It is so funny. I love these characters and I cannot wait to see what adventure is next? And the last prompt is restoration and that is to close your eyes, shuffle, and point. So I have lots of options for these because I can obviously shuffle and point and see what comes together. I have a couple of options for these. So we have Jade Legacy. I'm still going to read it but it might as well fit a prompt. So this is one option. And then I have Stones of Light by Zach Argyle. This is the second book to the Threadlight series. I read Voice of War last month and I really really enjoyed it. So I would like to continue on as quick as possible because I want to know what happens next. <laughs> the third option is actually the second book in the Expand series and that is Caliban's War. I'm really loving Leviathan. Than wigs. I don't know how this is going to end, but tentatively I would like to get to the second book because I want to know more. So I want to put Caliban's War in this as well. And two other options that I have here is Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, the third and final book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bones series. I have been almost halfway through this book since 2021 I want to say and I really want to finish off this series and this is a YA fantasy trilogy about angels and demons and it has very angsty romance in this which I really like. And the last option is Deadly Dreams by KJ Sutton. This is the third book in a fey fantasy romance series that is indie published and I am again halfway through this book and I haven't finished it and I really want to and continue on with the series. This has a really good love triangle that I truly don't know who she's going to end up with. So those are the options for those prompts and I will pick one and read and also all the options for me to read this month if I get to it. So yeah, those are all the sequels and the priorities that I want to read in the month of April. Again, I'm going to be busy. I don't know how much I'm going to read. I'm going to try my level best to shove in a lot of things because at the end of April, these books are going into boxes and I have no idea when I will be getting them and putting back on shelves again. So I'd like to make the most of the books that I have at the moment. So let's talk about my other loves, TV, movie, games, and also I would like to shout out a booktuber that I've been obsessed with lately, and that is Olivia Reads a Latte. Obviously, a lot of people know her. She's great, but I've been obsessed lately with her vlogs, and I relate to her with anxiety and she just makes me laugh and makes me feel better when I'm feeling anxious. So I would like to shout out Olivia Reza Latte. Thank you for your content. Okay, gaming wise, I haven't gamed at all in March and I just started got getting back into Disney Dreamlight because there will be a new update and I'm very excited to see new things for this game. So I'm probably going to play more Disney Dreamlight this month because nowadays I only have one activity that I get to pick to do at night and mostly it's either watching something or reading so I haven't been picking up my Switch as much. But whenever I find the time and I feel like gaming, 
Disney Dreamlight will be the game that I play. Okay, so TV show wise, me and my partner are still making our way through Mon Family. We're in season nine, so we're very close to finishing it. No idea what we're gonna watch next. So I said last month I'm re-watching Teen Wolf and I've paused that at the moment because I got to season six, at least halfway through season six, and I genuinely thought that was the end of the show. But they made it seem like it was the end of the show but no we have another half to go and i'm just burnt out at the moment for teen wolf so i'm just gonna take a pause so i was trying to find another show to watch and i thought i really wanted to get back into umbrella academy because i loved season one and when season two came out i rewatched season one and then got into season two and i realized the plot was just so repetitive that i didn't continue on with season two but i think now that time has passed that i'm okay with going back to season two now i'm loving it i'm still loving it it's such a good show i love the music pairing with action scenes or just scenes in general and of course our characters you hate to love them you love to hate them. And I also started Love is Blind season four because it just came out and I watched the first five episodes. Oh my god, this season has so much drama and tea. Season one is always going to be my favorite season, but season four is stepping up. It's really, really good so far. I know the next three episodes are out now, but I'm gonna wait until all the episodes are out before I binge them. Another show that I started that was just a fun cookie time is Kim Possible. I love Kim Possible as a teenager. My text tone is the Kim Possible ringtone. I'm re-watching it. It's a fun cookie time and I watch it especially when I'm cooking dinners. It's just a fun thing to put on. I love this show. Movie wise, I don't have any specific movies that I want to watch this month, but last month I did watch Tenant for the first time by Christopher Nolan. What a time that was. That was very confusing, but I did love how everything tied together in the end or just tie together in general. It's a very, very interesting movie and I cannot wait for his new movie Oppenheim to come out in June. I would like to watch that in theaters actually. And also if you want to know more movies that I watched recently, I actually have a video on Patreon that is gonna go up soon. So that's it guys. That is what I want to read, watch, game, etc. this month. And if you made it to the end of the video, put a blue heart emoji because I need all the emotional support when I read. Jade Legacy. Let me know what you're planning on reading this month. If you're reading anything that I've mentioned, let me know. Are you participating in the Magical Readathon or Realmathon? And what are you currently watching? Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. All my socials and my Patreon is linked down below if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye! Wow.